Hello, I'm Andrew Pizzelli, and welcome inside another edition of The Coaches Show. I'm joined once again by head South Regina football coach Kevin Gilmartin. And Kevin, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. And obviously another tough loss for your team on the road this week. Talk about that game and what happened. Yeah, I mean, it was it was an exciting game. Once again, another exciting game, which is, uh, you know, heartbreaking as, as usual. Um, but, you know, we came out and we were doing what we wanted to do. Uh, offensively, we were rolling on them. We were putting up some pretty good yards. Uh, unfortunately, we turned the ball over, you know, and you just can't do that when you're playing against a good team. Uh, you can't do that, you know, when you're playing against a bad team, but uh, you can't do that when you're playing against a good team as well. I mean, we ended up having, I think, like 530 yards versus I think they they only had like 400. We controlled the game, um, but you turn the ball over. You know, you look back at it, and the, there's always like six or seven plays that are really key to the game. And, uh, you know, if you eliminate our turnovers and our two big, uh, two big offensive of plays that they had and it's it's a whole different ball game I mean we would have you know dominated we, we controlled the game controlled everything but made those little mistakes that cost us you know and that that makes that's what makes it real difficult to swallow you know and then actually uh, when you look back at it you know uh, you know we're looking at the games and everything and saying hey it was so close but yet you know it let slipped away by just letting those those turnovers happen you know I mean late in the fourth quarter we're controlling the ball we're up and uh, we, we, we get a first down and just as we get the first down we fumble, turn the ball over, and now the defense is back on the field with a shortened field, you know, and then they score after that, and then, uh, you know, now we're in two-minute drive time, and we drive down the field, we get a bunch of first downs, but uh, we can't convert on a fourth and uh, fourth and four to keep the drive going, and then uh, and that was it, that was the ball game, so, uh, you know, painful, but at the same time, you know, you learn that, hey, you got to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. Now, your defense at home, we've seen it, it's dominant. You guys, in two home games, have only given up seven points. You go on the road and the defense has given up 36 points on average where does that come from what you know what is attributed to the defense playing so dominant at home and then yeah. not being able to get it done on the road hey you'd like to be able to say you'd like to be able to blame it on you know well they had a great home crowd at those away games and everything but that's not the case you know I mean you know I mean it's just we're, we're playing very good teams out there on the road I mean I think uh, you know a couple of our three of our losses are against uh, three teams out of a combined record of 13 and one right now you know I mean that we're playing the good teams but uh you know, I, I you can't blame it. It's you know that, but you can't say that it's the de you know it's the opposing team that's that's doing better than us. It's it's us. It's what we got to mm -hmm. clean up and we got to get better at it. And uh, you know we got to keep working and plugging away and hopefully let's get some of those wins coming back our way. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you're at home again this week. Talk about that matchup. Yeah. Then, then the biggest thing is you know we're not worried about you know who we're going against. It's more of what are we going to do? How are we going to get better now? I mean obviously we got to take care of those little things, those little turnovers, those preventing those big plays on defense. You know, clean those things up, and then all of a sudden we get our, you know, we get our mojo going back and get start ro rolling again. And that's what we need to do. And uh, you know, it should be should be good. We're playing against a good team. Uh, they've struggled a little bit themselves right now. But uh, you look back at our, uh, you know, our games against them the last couple of years. Two years ago, you know, we intercepted the ball against them. You know, at 38-35, you know, at the end of the game to close it out. And then this year, uh, they're losing close games. You mm -hmm. know, so it should be an exciting game, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get it. All right. Well, coach, good luck this weekend. Head Salva Regina football coach Kevin Gilmartin. I'm here with Matt DiGiacomo and John Gaffney of the Salva Regina football team. And guys, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. Obviously, you guys are both part of the offensive line, a veteran group this year. You guys have played well this season, especially 535 yards of total offense this past game on Saturday. How does having that veteran group contribute to the offensive success? Uh, well, this is the first game that we had uh, all four seniors uh, at the line all one time in a game, and that was pretty. That's pretty cool to have us all together again. And um, you know, it's great. Just we could rely on one one another, and like we don't make the mistakes we used to make throughout uh, a couple of years here. Yeah, I mean, like Matt said, uh, we can really rely on one another. I think it's a big, big for the team just to have the mindset and to have everyone know that we got four seniors on the offensive line. We've all been there before. We all know what we're doing, and I think we've been doing a pretty good job so far so yeah you talk about being seniors what is it like for each of you to be seniors on this football team 
Um, it's weird. It's uh, it's just uh, it's weird just coming up through the program, watching it evolve through the past four years. It's uh, it's been pretty cool, and now as our time's narrowing down, it's uh, uh it's nice to see it all come back together. It, it definitely is a bit odd. I don't think it's really hit me yet. Um, it's just great being able to play for the other seniors. Uh, it's, it's a great bunch of guys, and uh, I'm really glad I made the decision to come here because we made some great memories, great friendships with these guys. And I just love going out there and watching them play, you know, and being part of the same team as some of these freak athletes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just it's a great time going out there every Saturday, no matter what happens. Yeah, well, behind every good team, there's a good offensive line. You guys have played well. And good luck this weekend, and thank you for being here. Thank you very thank much. You. Matt DiGiacomo and John Gaffney of the Southern Virginia football team. Thank you.